Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to my after work evening routine. The light is starting to fade, temperatures are cooling and our nights are starting to get longer. It is truly my favourite time of the year. Let's spend the evening together. As we enter the last month of autumn, it is the perfect time to take stock of how we spend our evenings. I think cosy season has so many wonderful reasons to celebrate it, but the darkness can definitely impact our mental health and cosy season often comes along with moving our bodies less and eating less nutritionally dense foods. And I have definitely had winters in the past where I've let these things get on top of me and I haven't felt my best for months at a time. I think having a routine that you look forward to each night that embraces the cozy whilst also ensuring you're taking care of your mind and your body can make all of the difference. I also think it is a beautiful thing to have what feels like extra time to take things slow, be reflective and enjoy a bit of extra self-love and self-care on these longer nights. Now, it's probably a bit misleading to call this a routine. We've only been in the house a few weeks and I am definitely still working out what I want my evenings to look like, but research shows that there is a strong correlation with big life change and being able to cement new habits. So if you are also moving house or starting uni or changing jobs, it is the perfect time to also start to implement new habits and routines. So. This is a look at how I want my new evening routine to go for the colder, darker and cosier months. Probably the thing I am most looking forward to cementing in my evening routine is quality time with Cam that is spent outside. We were both lucky to have quieter afternoons at work today which meant we could get outside before it was completely dark. And although it won't be the case for long, getting outside and getting fresh air, even if that just means walking in well-lit areas and seeing all of the Christmas lights that will be up so soon, is such a lovely way to separate the workday from our evening. You guys know how much having a calm and cozy environment matters to me and setting my space for the evening will always be a non-negotiable. I am honestly still feeling so giddy at how much I love our new space and being able to light a candle or two feels like such a special way to celebrate the cozier evenings. time for dinner prep and to me cold months equals super months and this roasted tomato and red pepper soup is on heavy rotation in our house it is the perfect after work recipe in my opinion i love the process of cooking something from scratch it's such a creative and meditative process for me and this recipe is perfect for the days when I want to cook, but I don't want anything too high maintenance. You basically just chop up all the ingredients, stick them in a roasting tray, and then relax while it cooks. To me, that is the perfect type of cooking. Once my space is set and dinner is prepped, then I get changed. Again, for me, evening routines are all about sending small signals to my brain that the workday is done, to slow down and to recharge before another day. And one of those signals for me is getting changed, getting out of the clothes that I've been working in all day and switching to something comfier. 
Call me crazy, but I have sleeping pyjamas and lounging pyjamas. They are often the same, but they get rotated for what their job is each week. And this week, my brown ones are my lounging pyjamas. And then it's the best bit. It is time to eat. For my smooth soup recipes, I always prefer to transfer the ingredients to a blender rather than use a handheld one. For some reason, I think it generates a more intense flavour and I also think it blends smoother as well. We also love to make soup on the days we have bread that's going a bit stale. So if you have bread that's gone hard, chop it up, cover it in a good glug of olive oil, add some dried herbs and salt and stick them in the oven for the crunchiest, best croutons ever. Tonight, we chose to eat on the sofa. Was eating tomato soup on our new cream sofa the most sensible decision? Well, probably not, but that's part of the excitement of having your own house. We get to make the rules and it is so, so fun. excited I was to have my first bath in the new house. I love a bath but I only really have them in the colder months and this was actually my first one of the season. I've gone almost all autumn without a bath. Honestly for me a glass of wine, candles lit, starting a new book and soaking into a bath of all of my favourite products is absolute perfection. the superhuman app. It feels like such a warm hug whenever I need a boost of confidence or to be reminded to take a deep breath. But whatever method you use, taking a few minutes with no book, no phone, no TV, just to take stock of how you feel and to take a deep breath before you go to sleep is really so powerful. absolutely loved spending my evening with you thank you so much for watching i hope you have the loveliest week and i truly cannot wait to see you in the next one good night guys